Hey, good morning. As you can see, I'm underneath the Jeep here today. And I'm looking at my original Jeep product starter back from 98. Chrysler Corporation down there. This morning I came out and my car didn't start. So, it sounded like the starter wasn't turning. So, I went up, I checked my cables, cleaned my connections, battery voltage was good. I put the battery on for about an hour on the charger just to get up to what I like to say at about 13 and a half. And when I was sure all my connections were right, I came down here and I started realizing that I was hearing a click. Was, what I'm hearing is I'm hearing my starter solenoid go. So what that's telling me is it's not turning under here. And after 220 some thousand miles, I guess I can understand that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to uh, get it off right here. Okay. What I've done, I've gone up top and I've taken, uh, disconnected the battery. And right here, you got an 8 millimeter. All right. And that's the, you got to take that off. Then up here where you see this socket, I have a 13 millimeter. You got to take that off. And the, then your uh, hot wires will be off at the start. Once you've done that, you got a 14 millimeter right here and let's see if I can say it there it is up in here right I can't oh, my fingers on it if we can see my finger see right there right there there's another 14 and that's what holds the starter on. if you can see down here so you need an 8 a 13 and a 14 inch uh, millimeter, excuse me. And that will let you loosen your starter. Trying to get a good picture here is kind of impossible, but you'll get the idea. Okay, I'm going to let you go and then I'm going to disconnect everything and then I'll go from there. All right, I'm going to try to get you a shot in here. Okay, first one I'm doing is I'm taking off this little hot wire. That, this operates the solenoid so that it, the poles connect. And that turns the starter motor here. Okay, you got to disconnect your hots first. Well, I do. That way you don't have the starter hanging on your wires and getting you all jammed up like that. Your little clip. Don't lose your little bolts. Now from here, I'm going to hit the 13 millimeter, which is the connection that goes directly to my battery. medium extension and then knock them and again this would be a little easier if I had jacked the car up or could put it on a lift or something like that best I can to show you. Pretty tight under here. Let's see. Push that up in there. Let's see if I can just turn it off with my hand.
and we got the little 13 millimeter nut we'll put that in the same spot and this little clip should come right off and i think you can see that now i gotta switch my socket and now i'll be going to the 14. i got the 14 sitting right here on the and i do the bottom Break, let's see if I can break this sucker loose. Yep, that breaks loose pretty nice. And now, go up there and see if I can get the top one to break. I wonder if that's a 15. The top is 15 for your information. Uh, get them loose. And I've never had this starter off before. I don't know if I can just replace the solenoid on there or I'll bench test it. I'll probably show you how to do that too. up there on my fingers and just get it out like that now you want to be careful on your last bolt on this one because these starters are a little heavier than they look so we'll switch back to 14 millimeter for the bottom it's a 13 there's my 14 and you don't want to have this thing coming down hitting me in the chops because that would friggin hurt See, and you can see right now that it's loose. Now, you can't complain about 18 years and 220 some thousand miles on a starter. Can't complain about that at all. Now, there it is. Oh, I'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Just for information, there's absolutely no wear on that ring gear or that uh, flywheel. That looks like the day it was on there, huh? Well, okay. I'm going to pick you back up. I have to wipe my hands a little bit. Shut my light off under here. We'll crawl out from under the car. And show you just quick start. Okay, in there. Greasy old starter, huh? My valve cover's been leaking for <laughs> it looks like damn near 20 years. But uh there's your that's what drives your flywheel. This right here is your solenoid. And this is this big piece here is your starter motor. Now these are the posts that, these are your major hot things here. What you do is you've got your supply that comes in this way, and this operates your switch on your solenoid. This comes in off of your ignition. Then the energy connects in here, comes out, and this is what, this one right here is hard to see, but I know in the light that I got going here. But that's what turns your motor, starts your car.